All right, so I'm back with one of these videos and the idea with them is essentially just to provide some inspiration for project ideas for everyone to try with Python, uh, which I just personally think is really interesting to find different new ideas and things that I can try. So today what we're going to go through is we're going to go through four super quick Python projects for beginners to try. So here we go with project number one, which is reading and writing JSON. Something really useful is to know how to work with JSON. JSON is a file format that's used for data transfer on the web. So whenever you're working with backend development and APIs, you will most likely be needing to use JSON data within your Python script and also to write JSON data within your script. So here is a simple program that reads what username and password you have from a JSON file and then changes the password of that file to be you know nothing. All right, so that's the first project idea done. And like I said, that's something that's super useful because JSON is something that you run into a lot. So it's something that's really good to start to build an understanding of early on. And the next project is gonna be basic web scraping. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up a web browser to YouTube and then click on a video. And we're gonna do that automatically using Selenium. All right, so this is taken straight from yesterday's video about web scraping 101. So if you haven't watched that, then go watch that. But here we use Selenium to find and play the most recently uploaded video on this channel. Web scraping has been super useful for me ever since I learned it and is something that I think is really fun with endless possibilities for ideas. Okay, like I said, endless possibilities. This is something that's like the core of automating stuff with Python, I think, learning to do web scraping. So uh, a really good project to start out with. The next one is gonna be basically learning how to work with APIs. And we're gonna do that by creating a Twitter bot. Okay, so here we create a Twitter bot in Python that can post to Twitter using the Twitter API. Again, really useful, and you can do so many cool things with APIs, so this is something that I definitely think that you should try your hands at. And this is how it looks. Okay, so that's the third project done, and now you know a little bit of how to work with APIs. This is just a very, very basic project. The Twitter API is really well documented, so it's kind of easy to work with, but it's something that gets you started and it gets you to kind of understand how APIs work in general. And APIs is something that's, like I said, super useful and something that if you can find APIs for different things, then you can do, it's like unlimited how much you can do with that. Web scraping is like here and then, here is like APIs. The APIs is like the best thing to work with if you can. So anyway, the last project that we're gonna do is gonna be safe messaging. And this is gonna be a program that encrypts and decrypts our messages for us so that we can send them safely over the internet without anyone else reading them. And this is gonna be really useful if like me, you know that the FBI is on your back and watching every move you make. So here we create a simple script that lets you decrypt and encrypt messages using a certain key and the base64 library in Python. And this key can be thought of as a password that then gets jumbled together with your message to create a safe encryption. And with this tool, you can send encrypted messages to your friends that they can then decrypt given that you actually give them the key to decrypt with. All right, so that's four super quick Python projects for you to try as a beginner. I wanted to provide as much of a variety in project ideas as I could for this video, and also to come up with ideas that I think are interesting in and of themselves. 
So I hope I was able to do that and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section if you come up with any sort of like interesting mods to these ideas because I think a lot of people will be really interested in hearing about that. I think this is the sort of video that those the people looking for project ideas would come to. So I really do think that people will enjoy it and I will also enjoy seeing what you come up with uh, for like interesting ideas and mods to these ideas. Uh, now I'm starting to ramble again. So anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one tomorrow. And this is something that if you're like me and you know that the FBI, FBI, like me, you know that the FBI is constant, not constantly, fuck. Well, if like me, you know that the FBI is on your back and constantly watching, not constantly. Why do I keep saying that? The FBI is on your back and God, know that the FBI is on your back and <laughs> FBI is on your back and watching your every <laughs> FBI is on your back and watching constantly. Fuck. If like me, you know that the FBI is constant. Oh, constantly. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, one more time. You know that the FBI is on your back. No. Like me, you know that the FBI is constantly on your back watching. No, constantly. If like me, you know that the FBI is constantly on your back. Why do I say constantly? Fuck. You know that the FBI is on your back and watching every move you make. Finally. <laughs>